All right, what's up, boys and girls? Um, part three of the series here. I'm not going to spend too much time on the intro like I did before. We're going to dive right into it. I just want to give a quick shout out to Sunspot Gallery uh, for his Bacon Sweats video. Again, those are really good. I love those. Um, but in one of the recent ones, I saw a pastryarchy mention and I saw the message. And if I hadn't seen that message, I probably wouldn't have included him in this series because that message made me think of some other messages I had heard from him. So shout out to Sunspot for including that. Um, we're going to have three participants in this series today. We're going to start with a gentleman by the name of Battle Duck 9000 who just has way, way too much time on his hands. We're going to move over to obviously the pastryarchy. Um, again, just this one, this one is more the evolution of a pay pig. And you'll understand why when I get to it. I'll go in more depth. And then the main event of the fucking video is... Jeez, man. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to prepare you for what you're going to witness. But the main event of the video is Lysa for Soul. And it's... It is a mess. It is a mess. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Again, thank you for watching the previous two videos. Subscribing liking i'm starting to notice some dislikes on the video so i think we got some of his people in here but it's all good man um all right first message battle duck 9000 has tipped five dollars and 99 cents and this was earlier on this was earlier on so maybe four years ago something like that he's been a pay pig for a minute but he started off like all pay pigs do just barely tipping his toe in the water dipping his toe in the water i should say just kind of, you know, testing it out. Little five ninety nine here, hundred bitch here's, etc., etc. So he tips five ninety nine and says, "Other streamers also get attacked by trolls, but they have either time or money that they can afford to throw at the problem to counter it. Something you can't afford to do in your current situation." P.S. Happy New Year. May it be better than twenty eighteen. So that tells you right there, it's New Year twenty nineteen. So it's only two years ago, two and a half years ago, but. You know, even back then, your situation, how has your fucking situation changed from then to now? It's gotten worse, even though you've, you're making probably more money. You've gotten a bankruptcy that cleared most of your major fucking bills. Cleared damn sure all of your bad debt. And you got this moron here, just, here's six dollars. The fuck's he supposed to do with that, by the way, but here's six dollars. Other... Other streamers get attacked by trolls, but they either have the time or the money that they can throw at the problem. This fucking guy's got nothing but time and money. That's all he has. He doesn't have anything else. He's got fucking plenty of time. He's got a bunch of money. He makes more money than you. I don't even know what the fuck Battle Duck does. I don't know if this guy's been doxxed before in Kiwi Farms. I don't know anything about this guy. But I bet Dave's got more money than you. And he's damn sure got more free time than you. Especially Battle Duck coming through with those hundred dollar tips lately and shit. This guy's got nothing but time and money. But again, he's in the early stages of pignosis and the evolution of a pay pig. He's he's in the very early stages. You know, it's just messages like this, man, that you try to get into these people's minds, but it's like, what are you what are you thinking, man? What are you thinking? If there's one thing or two things that DSP has, it's fucking money and time, brother. Uh, whatever, let's get to the next one. All right, and here we have message number two from Battle Duck. Tips $5 and says, random tip of the day. Don't use thugs on the floor for your ringtone if you're waiting in Quay at the bank. I mean, this is just, this is one of the stupidest fucking messages that I've come across. This is right up there with OIC's message from the first video of, or the second video, whichever one it was, where he's stating the YouTube fun fact of the day. What the fuck is DSP supposed to do with this? What is anybody supposed to do with this? You're trying to be funny, but it's incredibly stupid. Number one, who's going to play that fucking music outside of sitting in his stream? And number two, yeah, you probably are in Quay at the bank. You need to fucking be there to add DSP as a beneficiary in case something happens to you so he has access to your fucking money. 
Random tip of the day. Five dollars to say this shit. Five dollars, man. Whatever. All right, and here we have message number three. A 300 bitch here. He says, aw shucks, now I have to raise it. And when I was watching this clip, so each clip that I watch, I scroll back for a while to pay attention to, and he had cheered 100 bits. And for whatever reason, like a minute or two later, he cheers 200 bits. And then a couple of minutes go by, and then he sends this message and says, aw shucks, now I have to raise it. And then he cheers 300 bits. He's not competing against anybody. He, it's his name on the leaderboard, nobody else's. He just wanted to keep hearing his name said over and over and over. And, you know, when I picked the messages, I, I was unsure about including this one, but we're just trying to get you into the mind of this guy. He's competing against himself. There was no other name on the leaderboard except his, and he just kept raising it for some reason. And just be aware, the next clip is going to be an audio clip, so you're going to have to hear DSP's voice. And to Battleduck9000, who did a 100-bit cheer and said, hello... Well, I was not here at 9.33 a.m. Battled Up, but I thank you very much for that cheer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so apparently the guy was just sitting around on DSP's stream with nobody in particular. DSP wasn't streaming. And sometimes, you know, you get Golden Colts or whoever cheers overnight, and they ask some type of question. They say something. They at least have something to contribute. And this guy... Now, this guy might be in Europe. This guy may be somewhere else so the time zone don't line up. But he's literally just sitting on DSP's page. I don't even think you can get in the chat if he's not streaming. And he's sending bits saying hello. When DSP's not there. What type of shit is that, man? Why are you... Just give the guy money. What the fuck is the point of this? Get your checkbook out and write him a check, why don't you? Sending money while the guy's not fucking... Like, I, I've been in dark days before in the chat post-stream. You know, just talking to some guys, whatever. At least having a conversation with somebody. Not talking to yourself. Sending money to Dave and saying hello when he's not even fucking there. What's wrong with you? All right, and here we have message number five. Just a continuation. Look at this, man. 500 bitch here and says derp. And this didn't have anything to do with the stream. Like I said, I go back and watch you know, prior to these cheers and tips and shit. And this had nothing to do with anything. He literally just sent 500 bitch or <laughs> bitches, five, 500 bits and just says derp. And DSP reads it off and, you know, just blows by it, gone to the next one. And just again, getting you into the mind of this guy. And the next one's going to be the last message. And I think it's fitting. You'll see. All right. Sixth and final message from Battle Duck. He tips $20, and I, this is fucking fitting. This is perfect right here. Don't mind me just depositing into that vest fund. Battle Duck, what has your return on investment been so far from that vest fund that you deposit into every week? What has your ROI been, buddy? Do you know if you had been depositing this money into a CD, a savings account, an IRA, something... In 2030, whenever you retire, I don't know how old you are, but whenever you retire, dude, you could have possibly tripled your money, man. But you're depositing into an imaginary vest fund. And you know what that vest fund really is, right? It's called a Scopely fund. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? And this is the evolution of the pay pig here. He's going from $5.99 here, $300 bitch here, $5, $6.00. 20 bucks, and now you see him weekly in there at $100, putting it into that best fund, getting that sweet, sweet ROI. How much have you made in that fucking best fund, man? You could be depositing this money. You could be doing something with this money, dude. You could be spending it on yourself, even if you don't want to save it. But it's going to the vest fund. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, now for this part of the video, we're going to move on to the pastryarchy. Um, a shout out to Kirk Finley, by the way, who commented on one of the videos. And I know this term has been used before, but he reminded me of the drive-by tipper. And pastryarchy, along with the evolution of a pay pig, and you're going to see it here again, 
he's also a notorious drive-by tipper. And, you know, the messages will show you. But shout out to Kirk family for that. Um, so the first message states, and I know it's kind of hard to see, but he tipped $5. And this was three years ago, possibly. I haven't had a chance to catch your streams for a while. But here's a tip until things cool down on my end. So essentially admitting he hasn't been watching the streams, he's not watching the content, shows up, gives money, and it wouldn't surprise me if he just left afterwards. So the evolution of the pay pig and the art of the drive-by tip. Here we go. All right, message number two, essentially the same thing, $5 tip. Wanted to play this myself, but I thought I'd pop in quick and give you a celebratory tip for outlasting yet another never quit. And I don't know who he was talking about there, uh, Pro Jared, or just fucking pick one from the hat, because you know there's a bunch of them. But, you know, basically admitting that he's not going to watch the stream because he's going to play the game himself. But here, I'm showing up and giving you money just because you command me to, you order me to. I mean, what's the point, man? You don't want to play the fucking game? Play the game, dude. You don't need to show up and give this guy money and not watch the content. You're not getting anything in return. Here we go again with the return on investment. What's the point of this? All right, message number three from Pastryarchy. $47 tip. Can't stick around, gotta play this myself first. All this talk about carrying and walking is pretty thematic for the playthrough though, huh? Happy trails. I mean, same thing as the first two. Not gonna watch, admitting to not watching. Not gonna stick around. $47 and for what? So DSP could read that Say your name, say thanks to the pastryarchy, put your name on the board and move on. Because that's all that's going to happen. He's not going to say anything else about you. Maybe at the end of the night, thanks to pastryarchy. And you're not even fucking there to hear it. $47. Here we go, evolution of the pay pig. $5, $5. 300 bitch here, $47. Waste, waste of money. All right, message number four. And this is fucking Pignosis right here. This is Pignosis magic. So he donates $40. Great interview with the quartering. Pay those bills and keep on trucking. First off, that interview with the quartering sucked. All right? That's just, that's a fact. Pay those bills and keep on. Here's $40. I'm not even going to watch. Pay those bills. You know, the bills that DSP claims take two hours to sit there and pay. Meanwhile, I can pull out my phone and within five minutes, you know, fucking pay two bills online. What is he doing that takes two hours to pay his fucking bills? He's lying to you, man. And you're giving him $40. You're not watching the fucking content. Again, evolution, $47, $40. What happened to the $5? Was that not good enough? You're not even watching the fucking content. What are you doing? Keep on trucking. Hey, he's gonna keep on trucking with your fucking money, Holmes. All right, message number five. Fifty dollar tip. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this with you. A fifth, and there's a perfect picture of DSP running away with your fucking money. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this with you. Fifty dollars. And it's perfect. That's what DSP needs. That's what he survives on anyways. Like that episode of South Park with the, the homeless where they survive on change. Don't give this guy food. Don't give him clothing. Don't give him, just give him money. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this with you. $50. And he's learning. He's learning the way to DSP's heart. He's learning what, what, to get, what gets DSP's attention. And, you know, it's obviously money. And this leads into the next messages perfectly all right in the next message five dollar tip dsp was playing street fighter and he asked him are you sure you don't want to try abigail his bully potential and damage is insane and dsp being and eh, fuck these cars in the background dsp being dsp shits all over the idea he wants absolutely nothing to do with it a few quotes and these are direct quotes and i'll put this in the description anybody who wants to go look at this can look it up People who made this game don't play Street Fighter. That character is garbage. 
It's not a real character. It sucks. That's his response to that message. When somebody's suggesting that he try Abigail, get out of his comfort zone, whatever, whatever. But it's all good because let's look at the next message. All right, next message. Another $5 tip. He didn't learn, but he is learning. I know you hate how he looks, but I'll totally tip $100 if you practice and play Abigail online sometime. I enjoyed when you played grapplers like Geef. So, and again, I'll put this in the description so you can go look, for, look at it for yourself. You can see the fucking gears in DSP's head when he reads this message. He just shit all over the idea. He called the character garbage, not a real character. The people that made the game don't know how to play Street Fighter because of that character. Then he gets this fucking message and you can see the gears in his brain start to turn. A hundred dollars. Five dollars ain't going to get DSP's fucking attention, home. So You better raise the stakes on that, buddy. And so this was this was uh, during Street Fighter, right? And DSP says, I'm not going to play that tonight. I'm not going to play it tonight. You know, maybe another time he kind of blows it off. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So I went farther on Pig Pig Go to the next week of Street Fighter. And let's go ahead and get into that message. All right. And this one is fucking beautiful. Look at the title of the video. Look who he's playing as. This is the next fucking week. You want to tell me he doesn't talk behind the scenes with these fucking pay pigs? He doesn't arrange shit. He doesn't coordinate shit. Look at the top tip. Do you see a tip up there yet? Look at the name of the stream. The fucking guy, you telling me he doesn't coordinate this bullshit. Just like Planet Jeff. He didn't coordinate that, right? Maybe it wasn't specific dollar amount, but I guarantee you he talked about money. And look at this fucking horse shit, man. The evolution of a pay pig. Learning what matters to DSP. And what do you think the next picture is going to be? What do you think it's going to be? And praise the Lord. Praise Jeebus. It's a miracle. We got a hundred dollar fucking tip from the pastryarchy. On a learning Abigail gameplay stream. DSP, you are, you are a humanitarian. You know that? You didn't expect it to, and I showed you this message before. It's not like Pastryarchy was the first tip or showed up and tipped immediately. No, he could have been leading them on like that 6K email, the statues. But DSP, and those fucking cars, man. DSP being the humanitarian that he is said, you know what? I'm going to get out of my comfort zone and I'm going to learn to play Abigail whether you show up or not, Pastryarchy. Do you think that's what DSP really said? Do you believe that for a fucking second? He probably was glancing at that fucking monitor, glancing at, I guess it would have been Streamlabs back then, checking his PayPal. Where's this fucking guy? Where's this fucking guy? And the guy came through and there's the hundred dollars. Learning Abigail. Titled the fucking video, Learning Abigail. Tell me that's not the evolution of a pay pig right there. Pastryarchy, you fucking moron. Still showing up, still giving this guy money. And you know what? If I'm not mistaken, was it Pastryarchy? Has he been doxxed already on Kiwi Farms? Maybe that's Battle Duck I'm thinking about. Maybe that's Battle Duck. But I guarantee you, well, the point of it is he makes more money than you, Pastryarchy. But you're learning. You're learning the way to his heart. You're learning what matters to DSP. Good job, buddy. Great way to spend that money. All right, and then we move on to the last part of the video. This fucking guy, man. So I probably need to put a, a warning, an explicit warning on the fucking video or whatever. This guy has got some serious, serious, serious issues. And the ending is going to be so fucking perfect, man. I guarantee you that ending is going to be perfect. But he wasn't always this way. He wasn't always this way. This was, goes back about three years or so. One of the first times I found him on Pig Pig Go. A $10 tip and listen to this. Have a nice stream, sir. Also grew up in the ghetto. I saw two cars get set on fire on my apartment complex when I was young. I don't know that I believe this guy, to be honest. And if he did, he never stepped foot outside because if he did, he would have got his ass beat. And he wouldn't be sending money to DSP and he wouldn't be looking up to DSP if you really grew up in the ghetto. And anybody that did grow up in a hood can attest to that. But... He wasn't always this way, you know, this one and the next message, the next message is a little scarier, a little sadder, but have a nice stream, sir. 
you know, the evolution of a pay pig, man, the, 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 the point of this video, the evolution of the pay pig, it didn't, he wasn't always this way. All right. And it looked like Lysa for soul learned early on the way to DSP's heart. So he comes out the gate swinging with a hundred dollar tip, but the message is a downer. So say it states so many times I've contemplated suicide, but your resistance against those against you has made me strong too. Thank you so much, Phil Burnell. Now, I'm not going to shit on the first part of it because that's, you know, again, I don't know if the guy's serious or not. That's no joke. The second part is absolutely a joke. Whatever, Phil Burnell, whatever. But, you know, so he's he's openly admitting this and he's openly saying this. He's given him $100 to say this to him. Maybe he is being serious as a way of saying thank you. But... Again, we're getting in the mind. He wasn't always the way he is now currently or the way he was. I mean, look at these first two messages. It's proof that he can at least speak coherently and has some manners and can say thank you. And it seems almost normal in these first two messages. And you know what I forgot to say on the last one? The reaction that DSP had to this message and to the last one. If DSP was like that 80, 75% of the time, I wouldn't even be making this fucking video you wouldn't have nearly as many detractors. He was respectful. He was, thank you, that really means a lot to me. You know, he didn't shit on the guy. He didn't have some smart ass comment to make. It was a nice message followed by a compliment in return. You know, if you could act like that more, more often DSP, and I know it's too late for that, but if you could act like that more often, you'd have so many more genuine fans and they wouldn't turn into what Lysa for Soul turned into. All right, and here we see kind of the start of the obsession, the evolution of the pay pig. 310 bitch here from Lysa for Soul. I'm your biggest fan. And by the way, I saw this about no less than five times, probably upwards of 10 times, 10 different occasions he cheered or tipped this exact message. You know, he just has to constantly remind him, I'm your biggest fan. Fuck OIC. I guess OIC wasn't around then, but fuck OIC, fuck Planet Jeff, you know, fuck a uh, technical 2070. You just forget all these people. I'm your biggest fan. And this is the evolution of him. Starting to turn into a fucking villain. Just sending this over and over, has to constantly keep telling him. And DSP starts to kind of just blow him off every time he does this. And I think that's where it started to turn around. All right, and we got a 510 bitch here. I wear my vest every time you put yours on. Believe me, I do not owe you vest time. So this was during the vest streak. This was in response to, I think, DSP being hot or whatever. Doesn't want to wear the vest. Claims that the pay pigs owe him vest time. And I mainly included this because of the mental image it gave me. And it just made me fucking laugh when I thought of it. Of all his little pay pigs putting on their vest whenever he puts on his vest. They're tightening and tying up their little life jackets, life preservers. And it just fucking made me crack up thinking about that, man. But yeah, this guy wears his vest every time you put yours on. Obsession. Fuck out of here with this. Alright, and the next message. 100 bitch here. You know how girls get back problems from having big breasts? Did you ever have hip problems from having such a massive, and obviously you can see it's fucking disgusting. It's, it's not funny. It's fucking disgusting. It just further shows the evolution of the pay pig. What's, what happened to those first two messages, man? Where did that fucking guy go? That you're having to say this shit constantly. And DSP starts to warn him around this time. He starts to tell him, you know, cut it out. It's not funny. You know, just stop it. And as I think you can already tell, it did not stop. Uh, Delights for Soul, thank you for the cheer, but I'm telling you right now, now you're getting ridiculous, what you're saying. And I, I mean, you're a top contributor here. You gotta stop. You even said a word that's banned on fucking, in my channel and on Twitch. You gotta fucking stop right now. You know, I'm trying to be lenient with you because you are a, a contributor and you're a positive influence on the stream. But I can't have you fucking in here saying dumb shit. You gotta fucking cut it out now. All right? Stop it, man. Did you catch that, by the way? Did you catch what he said towards the end of that? 
We'll come back to it. Let's read the message first. A hundred bitch here. Pick Michael Jackson or Jordan or Tyson or Myers, which doesn't make sense. Too much dirty money when the colors are washing the whites in the dryer. My cuts off, obviously. You saw DSP bitch him out. Get after him. You're this close to being banned. Cut it out. He didn't ban him after this, by the way. Just blatantly stating racist shit. Didn't ban him. But did you hear what he said at the end of it? You've been a positive influence on the stream. Have you seen the same fucking messages I've been showing you? How is that a positive influence on the stream? Hey, Major Riot, you positive influence on the stream. You're single-handedly keeping that Chef Boyardee meme alive that he all of a sudden loves. And now he has to threaten to ban this fucking guy. And he doesn't want to do it because it's such a positive influence on the stream. That right there tells you everything you need to know about DSP. That fucking horse shit. A po this guy's a positive influence on the stream. I wonder why that is. You piece of shit. And here it is. Here's how it fucking ends. And by the way, you're a moron, Lester for Soul, because if you were able to cheer, you obviously weren't banned. But look what happens. Look what fucking happens. Look where all roads lead. And every person that I've included in this series and every person I will include going forward, this is where it's going to lead you. There's no fucking if, ands, or buts about it. This is where it all goes. And yeah, I'm doing this for entertainment somewhat. Yeah, we're having to laugh at it. Yeah, it's an interesting video, an interesting idea. But at the same time, dude, you need to get fucking help, man. And the rest of you pay pigs need to get help because this is going to happen to you eventually when he's done with you. You're like a piece of meat to him. And when he's not hungry anymore, he's going to toss that piece of meat out. And we've seen the road of carcasses already. And Lysa for Soul is just another one to add to the fucking list. He comes crawling back. Can I get an unbanned, please? Like Homer Simpson does when he crawls back to Mr. Burns. And he, it says, you're here forever. Well, you ain't here forever, Lysa for Soul. You're gone, buddy. All that money thousand dollars at least probably more than that was it worth it was it worth it man your return on investment was it fucking worth it get some help brother get some and by the way i'm not going to include the in the description but it's easy to find go look at this guy's fucking twitter go look at his twitter Th that is one of the most depressing frightening disturbing things i've ever seen for probably, I don't know if it's still actually up. I shouldn't even be saying that because a couple months ago when I saw it, I would check in every now and then on it. And I felt like I was the only person that saw this shit. There, he's tweeting constantly. Any thought that pops into his head, he tweets it. No likes, no retweets, no replies, nothing. Every time I went to look at his fucking Twitter, I felt like I was shaking cobwebs off and getting the dust off of it. Dude was just sharing anything that popped into his head, saying it, and there was no responses whatsoever. And if it's still up, go look at it. You have fucking serious issues, Lysa for Soul. And another point of this video is to show you how you're being perceived to other people, man. Not just you, but everybody in this. Oh, I see everybody. To show you how you're perceived to people that aren't in that little cult, that aren't stuck. To people that are actually in reality, have a foot in reality, that people that actually work, people that do things. How you're being fucking perceived, man. And I hope you don't act like this in real life. Because this is fucked up and look where it leads you to. DSP, man, if something ever happens to you, dude, it's not going to be me. It's not going to be one of the detractors. It's not going to be Kiwi Farms. It's going to be one of these people that gets to you. It's going to be one of your own fucking fans like OIC, who lives near you, by the way. And I know you know that. I'm not going to go into it now, but I know you know that. He's within driving distance of you, probably two hours. And I can get into that in another video. But this is where all roads lead. Can I get an unbanned, please? No, you fucking can't because you're a piece of meat and he's done with you, Holmes.